everyone. Uh, thanks so much for joining me. Today I want to talk, actually not today, but I want to talk about um, Willow. Uh, I'm going to be working with her in this video. She was a Mustang, um, came from the uh, Ridgecrest Corrals and then I believe she was in some sort of Mustang makeover type show. Um, since then she was passed from pillar to post, uh, ended up at the Monterey uh, SBCA and they um, had quite a lot of trouble with her to a point that she was really running out of time. They couldn't halter her, uh, she couldn't get her feet done, they couldn't get her shots etc etc. So I, I went down there, um, I actually did manage to get a halter actually within about 15 minutes but um, but I just, I, I felt, you know, because time was running out and they weren't sure what they're going to do with her and that euthanasia was mentioned, I thought, you know what, we can take her, we have space and we'll let's work with her. So, so this is what we've done. Um, now, part of her issue is her back hind, uh, in fact, her back left hind, um, in so much as she will kick out, I mean, and kick out quite violently too, um, if you try and get hold of it. So I came up with an idea, I think it's, I read it somewhere, but um, that we um, just look at it maybe from a different angle. So um, I want to, uh, I want to show you what I did. Uh, so um, enjoy, feel free to comment and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much. Right to up the way to our bodies. So we'll see. Anyway, that's a theory. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing. So stay tuned. Okay, so um, this is Willow. Um, Willow has had issues for quite a long time regarding her picking up her um, left leg. And We've, uh, I wanted, I, I, I read this somewhere, so I have not, I think it was some sort of scientific research um, about horses and their brains being disconnected on one side to the rest of their body. Um, and so I, I've been sort of experimenting with Willow because I actually think that there is an issue with her on her left hand, not so much her right. So what I've been doing is, so I've, I've been going to the right, which is on, which, now bear in mind, she's actually, see, she's so reactive that she needs that all the time. can see the difference, I, I'm sure you can. She's not tracking backwards and she look, she was looking at me with her eye. So I thought I'd try this side. Mm. It's a little wonky on this side. So here we go. And I'm doing exactly the same. So I just said, see how she's moving? I'm not asking her to do anything, but she's moving away. She's not looking at me like, like she is the other eye. She's actually sort of somewhere away from me. So here's my theory. Anyone can correct me if I'm wrong. Come on, man. Um, anyone um, feel free to connect. I think that there is definitely a disconnect between what's going on in her brain or here and the rest of her body. Perhaps because She's only been worked on one particular side. Um, I don't know. Um, but I'm guessing that's it. So when she said it has been worked on there, not done anything on one side, she's not registering um, when I'm going back to here. She's not registering um, what I'm saying. So, yeah, she's not registering. 
She has got some attention on me, which is nice. Um, and I like the way she's putting her head down, although she, I'm just going to, she's putting her head down, releases, releases, um, again, I can't remember what it's called now, um, but actually, um, well, you know, calms things. So, so, but you see, as soon as I go, I mean, her head's not rattling yet, to be fair, but as soon as I go back here, that head um, goes, pops up. So, we're just going to literally turn it around with her. I'm hoping the camera's on in this one, but it might. So this kicking out is, 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 is become a, 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 well, okay, she's clearly, this has been going on a long time, she came from the FCA, she was a hoarder in the situation, they, um, they couldn't handle, you know, handle her, she was, you know, she wouldn't even let them hold her, so, um, so I went down there originally just to sort of, to, to sort of assess her more than anything else and to see um if we thought there was anything that could be done so um you know they hadn't been able to halt her so i 
you know, I just went in, she was in the store, so I went into the store and I, I sort of just leant against the wall, didn't really do anything, didn't even really look at her. And um, and then eventually I just sort of, sort of sort of stepped forward and actually, she was very curious about me, of course. And then, um, I should put a cup in, like that. Then I said, but you know, I'm gonna let her do this because I like the fact that she's coming in towards me like this. Um, and, um, so uh, she, so and, and she was fine. We we sort of petted a little bit. I backed off again, did that a few times, and then I went and got a halter um, and just rubbed her with the halter, uh, which she allowed me to do, and I actually put the halter on, and that was within like you know fifteen minutes, ten minutes. So, um, so you know, yes, did I think that there was hope for this horse? Yes, I do. Um, I know that her feet, she hadn't had her feet done, I mean, you can see them if you're looking, um, or if you can even see from there. They hadn't done her feet, it's a little. They haven't, you're fine, you're fine. See how reactive she is to feet. Yes, I know, that's just a mailman. Um, so, and apparently they said that it had taken, even just to give her a shot from the bed, it had taken, um, one person to to hold the one person to hold the <laughs> her one person to feed her treats and then the vet to give the injection and they still could not do it so they gave up and um well, she went on her merry way and um and anyway so so i decided to take her we had room at the time so i thought you know what i'm going to take this horse because i think there's there's hope for her, and I still do. I mean, she's a sweetheart, she really is, but she does have this going on um, with her, her right side. So, um, sorry, her left side, should I say. So, um, so we're gonna try that again. And just see, I'm hoping you can see, no, you probably can't, can you? Let me just move that. Um, I know, you're being, I know. You keep getting out of the shot. Um, so we're going to try that whole exercise. See, jump, look how she jumps immediately. I even like, that's just, in, that's just in changing my hand, which I actually find really interesting. So we're going to make it easy again. I'm not putting too much pressure on that. Here. I don't know, but this is going to take some time. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, uh, not doing that. This is going on this side. So I'm literally just. Right, let's go forward because you keep getting out of camera shot. Come on. So I'm, I'm just going to. Come on. 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 Yeah, I know there's a lot of people who don't like this pressure on me, but to me, this is so soft that it's actually not. Um, you want to do that one again? Different hand. Um, because I noticed that there was a big difference between that hand. before that she did so long story short we're going to continue doing this and um hopefully get that this left leg up and make her safe for the farrier 
um, um, get her feet done and hopefully just, you know, balance her out a little bit because, uh, yeah, I mean, she just can't go on like this. And I don't know what's happened with her with this, but um, you can we can work through it. So we're going to be, everything's going to be on this side from now on. So I'll keep you up to date on progress or lack of, there is. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs>